Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, I'll be talking about how we can install VMware tool in macOS. If you have uh, installed macOS in VMware and uh, let's say you are facing challenge that you may not able to install VMware. Just like here, if I click here on install tool and if you see this issue which says could not find the component on the update server contact vmware support in that case what you can do how we can fix it for that you need to visit this page and you require to download this which is vm tool package for macOS. and then uh, after downloading it just by clicking on download you need to open it up and in order to download this you require to have a vmware account or maybe i will provide you download link in the description of this video now what we require to do is you just need to go to show in folder and then extract this after you extract you can see a bunch of file here and we are basically interested in this darwin.iso maybe you are familiar with this file because generally uh, you will see this file with vmware now the thing we need to do is let's just minimize it and now here in vmware workstation we will be going here to vmware and then here in a removable tool and here in cd dvd data just click on settings now here you need to click here on browse and then locate this file which is darwin.iso once we locate it just click on open and then click on OK. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to connect it with our VMware. So we can easily do it by going to VM and then removable device and here select CD DVD and here click on connect. As soon you hit connect here we can see we have successfully loaded this VMware tool here in Machintos now we will be clicking here on install vmware tools and here we go guys here we can see we have started the process of installation and let's see this time if we can successfully install it or not so here i will be allowing it and in this way guys and here we can see the mac os have blocked this installation so it is asking us to unblock so we will be going to security preferences and we will be allowing it for that let's click here on apple logo and then click on system setting and here we need to click on privacy and security and if i scroll it down in the end we can see the system software from developer this was blocked from loading so we need to allow it so just click on allow and now again we need to enter our password so in this way uh, we can enable it so for that here we can see it is asking us to restart our system so let's quickly restart this vm one more thing i would like to tell you since this is the latest mac os version so that is why the interface looks slightly different than the regular one so if you are using a different macOS version, then again, you know, you need to visit the same setting which we have visited here. And then from there, you need to allow. Now after restart, what I would like to do is let's click back on install VMware and this time I believe I should able to install it. And that's how guys we installed it successfully now let's start it back so that you know the graphics performance and the mouse movement should be fine so i'm just clicking on restart again so 
so now we have just restarted it and let me just enter my password and now here i can see how good my mouse movement is and my display become much more responsive than before so if i go to about mac now it is showing me 128 mb of graphics memory instead of 3 mb so that's how guys we can successfully install vmware tool in machine tosh so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you enjoyed it if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye